Oh, sh It's all burned. So our journey begins at the San Jose airport, where me and my buddy Chris got a one-way ticket to Las Vegas, Nevada, where we would go grab the truck, load it on a U-Haul, and bring it all the way back to the Bay Area. The Las Vegas airport is wild. I mean, I'm not much of a gambler, but if you are, you don't even need to make it to the strip. You can gamble right here. You gonna play? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> So we made our way to baggage claim and then headed outside to get picked up by my wife's uncle. Now since Christmas is only a couple days away, we wanted to show you what the Tesla has to display. You gotta admit, this is pretty cool. And I gotta say, there's no Toyotas that can do this. <laughs> the computer programmers had a sense of humor. I think yeah. they just did this this last Christmas. So it you know, has voice commands, and you can say, open butthole, and the little charging portal will open up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. Pretty hilarious, huh? So the next day, we woke up early and headed to Pahrump. It's about an hour outside of Las Vegas where the truck was being held. But first, we stopped at Mom's Diner for breakfast that morning. We're going to Mom's. Hey, I am 
So after breakfast, we headed down the road and picked up our U-Haul. The people that owned it were very interesting, is what I'll say. We grabbed our stuff from the Tesla and we hopped in the U-Haul truck. All right, we're going to pick up the truck. Co-pilot Chris. And we got our U-Haul. We got a little boost gauge here. It's actually best mileage, but we're gonna boost it all boost. U-Haul, following the Tesla, undisclosed location with Chuck's being held captive. Here we go. Oh shit, it's all burned. In the aluminum river, huh? And all this, the Toyota gods spared this one. Untouched. Toyota 1990 SR5 pickup, four wheel drive. It's not a game, it's a red So we got to work, we rigged up a rope to get the truck pulled out so we could load it up onto the trailer. And just for the record, no bushes were harmed during this recovery. Except for maybe that one. So. The real story behind this truck is that it used to be driven by my wife before I even knew her. She then inherited a Volkswagen Jetta from her sister and this thing got parked. Her mom then signed the pink slip over to her uncle where he took it to Las Vegas, Nevada and drove it for a little bit until it had some engine problems. They parked it at this property in Pahrump and then it sat there for the next seven years. Now as you saw, there was a devastating fire on this property and luckily the truck was parked on the other side of this storage container. And one night when he was visiting and we were having dinner, he said, hey, I'll sell you the truck, one dollar, you come get it and bring this thing back to life. And to that, I agreed. Now that we got everything locked and loaded. We headed north to Reno, Nevada to spend the night at my buddy Jeff's house. The drive up north through Nevada is essentially a barren wasteland, littered with small rundown little towns and endless road. We were blessed with pretty good weather that day. And at the end, we had amazing sunset scapes that peeked through the clouds.
So it was the next morning. We arrived pretty late. Jeff and his wife had pizza ready for us and we went to bed. So the next morning we got packed up and ready to leave. But before we left, we jumped into Jeff's side by side and had a little fun. change it for the world. What's your favorite card? Uh, my favorite card is probably my first edition Charizard. <laughs> it got a CGC 3, so it's in very good condition. How did you get that? Uh, a guy who actually base jumps uh, here in town, he skydives for a living, came over and sold it to me. How much did you buy it for? $3,000. Holy cow. But What's it I, worth? It's worth about $3,000 now uh, because I actually got it graded by a graded com grading company uh, and the market's gone down a, qu a little bit since I bought it uh, so it's still worth about what I bought it for and this is cool this is like a yeah. personal my wife surprised me with this on Christmas Day uh, and my YouTube channel is J Sky Sun so go check out my YouTube channel <laughs> so tell me about this uncut card poster so this is an uncut fossil sheet with 110 holographic cards on it. This is before they get uh, cut at the factory. Uh, there's not a lot of these out there. Uh, it's quite valuable. I have a custom frame on it as well. Uh, and I've had this in my collection for about 10 years. And I wouldn't uh, want to sell it for anything less than a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I also have two. Got another one over here. Uh, so the last one you saw was the third set to ever come out of Pokemon cards. This is the seventh set to come out. Uh, this is the Neo Genesis set. So this was a the common cards from the Neo Genesis set. Uh, I'm happy to have this in my collection too. There's several other uh, uncut sheets out there, but they're really hard to get. Uh, and they cost a lot of money, so I'm just happy to have two. This is Charlie. You want to see him do a trust fall? Let's see it. Charlie, come up. Huh. Trust fall. <laughs> so we left Jeff's and headed to Brendan's, where we would pick up an engine for this truck. All right, Chris, we made it to Brendan's. Truck made it so far, a couple hundred miles. Here's the second gen we put the 3.4 liter into. And we're gonna grab an engine from Brennan here. 
He's the next guy. All right, here's the engine that came out of the gray 3.4 swapped 4Runner. And we're going to put this in Sean's newly gifted badass white pickup. Don't judge my garage space, but here we are. <laughs> And we're picking up an engine on our way home, back to San Jose. And if you remember, Brendan came over and we put a 3.4 liter 5BZFE engine into his second gen. Click on the link above if you'd like to watch that series. So you can just pull anything you need, you can just pull off that engine basically. Yeah. Just like that, we had the engine packed in the back of the U-Haul, and we headed back to San Jose, California. We would start work on the truck, and hopefully get this thing running again after over seven years. piece and despite everything going to plan we did it over 700 miles of towing this bad boy my co-pilot Chris thanks Chris could have done no it without worries. you and here she is the rescued 1990 Toyota pickup SR5 it's got a 3 VZE 3 point slow engine which we're gonna have to do some work on and this is gonna be a fun build. So we hope you guys can follow along and, and see where this thing takes us. If you have any suggestions on things that you would do to this truck, let us know in the comments below. But with all that said, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we're gonna be getting down on some sick mods.